Hey guys, we're back with Robbie Pruitt with Antler King, asking him some tough questions. All right, I've been dying to ask this one. Spring food plots, fall food plots. Where do you sit on the two? Both. Okay. Yep. You need you need to have a good mixture of both. You know, the deer during their growing season, springtime, fawns being born, milk production, the whole nine yards, you need a good high protein food source there. Uh, but when you need to put fat back on that deer's body, them deer are going to walk, they're going to step away a little bit from that protein and they need that high energy food source. So that's where you get into the brassica type varieties like our honey hole and stuff. So you got to have the best of both worlds if you want to benefit the deer as maximum as you can. It's that complete nutrition cycle. They, they, they have to have it. Yeah. Uh, and you know, a lot of people, and I, and I know you're talking food plots, but I want to step on something else here. A lot of people look at uh, a clover plot being high protein. We don't want to just plant a clover plot because the deer won't touch it in the fall. Well, when you use a cool season variety of seeds like we do with our forage clover, the deer will hit it all season long. That, that plot will stay green all the way through. You kick the snow up underneath, have it as green underneath. You know, it's what the deer are going to hammer it. But at the same time, you don't want to feed the deer too much protein because a deer can only utilize 16% protein without burning fat off its body. Mm -hmm. So you always want that energy in there to, them to step into that energy food source, which is fat. Uh, and that goes the same way of block. I get the call all the time. People want to know, hey, I see your block only has 16% protein. I want something with 30% and it's December. Mm -hmm. I'm like, the last thing you want to do is feed a high protein food source to a deer uh, while he's trying to put fat on his body. You don't want to burn fat off his body while you're trying to put it on. Mm -hmm. So you can do that to a point with a food plot, with a high quality uh, clover plot, you can give them too much protein, but it's not, not as likely that you're going to supplemental feed them that way. Right. So you always want to give them that energy food source. Now, most places that are planting clover, yeah, they're probably going to have an ag field there that's going to have corn in it. They're going to get their energy from the corn there uh, if you can only plant one plot. So, but if I was in an area where there was no food at all, no agriculture around nowhere, I'm definitely gonna take that plot no matter how big it is and I'm gonna split it up to where I can give them a mixture of both because they need that to get what they need to, you know, better, bigger uh, structural, uh, bone structure, the whole nine yards, they need both. They can't just have this one. I think that's a testament of how long you guys have been doing this. Uh, for 36 years, you've been constantly evolving the line mm -hmm. To be able to take and complete that entire nutrition source exactly you yeah. have you have to yeah guys thanks for tuning in we're gonna uh have this every week keep tuning back with hard questions with robbie Pruitt.